Welcome to lesson two of the preseason on 30 Day Challenge Abridged. Today we will be going through the setup of your Flock browser. Um, there are a few settings that we'll want to change to make the most use of Flock during the 30 Day Challenge. Uh, and again, I am using a PC to do this. So for those of you on Mac, maybe Ed's the best source for this one. Uh, for those on PC, you'll want to follow along very closely. Uh, in the Tools menu of your Flock browser, if you open that and click on Options, it will open a pop-up window. There are really only uh, four of these tabs that we'll concern ourselves with today. On the main tab, I recommend, uh, and so does Ed, using the Show My Windows and Tabs from Last Time setting in the drop-down menu. Uh, this will open up any window of Flock as well as any of the tabs that you had open the last time you were using your browser. It's very convenient if there are certain sites that you want to come back to time and time again. You don't have to enter them into the title or your URL bar, the address bar. You can simply open Flock and the pages will load exactly where you were the last time. Very, very handy. Um, next, we and you can also set your home page to whatever you wish. Um, most of us are creatures of habit and have our favorites, but if you're looking for one, uh, tdcabridge.blogspot.com is where it's at. So, uh, next we'll go to the tabs uh, settings. And it, when you open a new page, I highly recommend opening them in a new tab. Um, that just makes it much more easy to manage all of your content windows because they'll be in a tabbed browsing display rather than multiple windows at the bottom of your uh, Windows uh, toolbar. How's that for uh, <laughs> knowing exactly what I wanted to say? Um, we'll skip over content and go to the Feeds tab. Um, we'll want to subscribe to the feed. We're not going to use the Flock Feed Reader. Um, and there are good reasons why. And actually, if you were here for last year's challenge, you'll also notice blog lines, which was the reader last year. We're not using that. We're going with Google Reader this year. Um, and as you'll learn in future lessons, there's a very, very, very good reasons why um, Ed has chosen to use Google Reader. So make sure you select that as your feed reader. Then we can go to searching. The default search engine, you want to make sure you choose Google. Um, that is really the preferred uh, search engine for the 30-day challenge, and most of you already use Google every day anyway. Um, the live results and search um, engines, you can pick whichever ones you want. Um, I've selected some on my own. Feel free to do the same. But just make sure that Google is your default browser. Um, also, while we're here, one other thing that Ed reviews, and you can click OK to close that, and those settings should take place um, and be available from here on out. So, uh, Ed also described the RSS feed button in Flock. And if you'll notice, most of the sites you'll go to, including this one, there's a little orange icon here. It looks like radar and it says click to view available feeds. On any page that has content that you want to keep track of, and again, you'll learn more about this when we go into Google Reader later, if you click that, it will show you the 30-day 30 30-day challenge abridged site as an available feed. When you click on that, it will bring up, um, since we chose Google Reader as our default reader that we just set up, um, you'll want to add it to Google Reader. Now what Ed did not go over in his video and what I described below in the blog post is that you'll need a Google account which you can sign up for uh, directly from this page and that will actually be used throughout the challenge for a number of other services so go ahead and sign up for that Google account and when you're there you'll also sign up for Google Reader. That link is also provided on the blog so um, as you can see I've already subscribe to a few things but these are the feeds um, this is directly from the 30-day challenge site and as you'll notice very cool the videos actually play from within the feed reader excellent excellent stuff and just a sneak peek of why Google Reader will be so powerful for this year's challenge I think that does everything if you have questions as always post comments I will address them as quickly and as thoroughly as possible 
Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you the next time.